Good morning, Gulf High. Today is Friday, February 22nd, 2019. I'm Lizzie Mujica coming to you from WBC Studios with today's school news. The word of the day today is entourage, which means a group of attendants or associates. Top celebrities travel with extensive entourage, which often includes security guards, assistants, stylists, managers, and publicists. For lunch today, we'll be having PB&J, beef noodle bowl, pizza, and salad bar. And now for today's weather forecast. This spring-like weather continues as we have a high of 85 degrees and a low of 70 and a 10% chance of rain. Have a great day and weekend, Golf High. Today in history. In 1732, George Washington was born. And in 1980, U.S. hockey pulled off a miracle on ice. And that's today's history. Here's some news, folks. Galapagos tortoise, thought to be extinct, is found after 100 years. Incredibly rare $1,000 bank bill from 1891 set to sell at auction for $8 million. Here's the riddle of the day. What has a single eye but cannot see? Stay tuned to the end of the news for the answer. Gulf High School Buccaneers, we are already planning for the 2019-2020 school year. Today you are receiving your course selection planning sheet. The first page contains your core academics. You will need to sign up for one English, one science, one social studies, and one math course, paying attention to the suggested grade level. The second page contains course electives. All students need to be sure to choose six electives. If you notice, some classes are year-long, designated 1.0, and some are semester, designated 0.5. You should choose two 0.5 electives to ensure you have a full schedule. Number your elective choices one through six. If you choose two semester electives as your first choice, mark both of them with a number one. The choices you make are binding. Dance, yearbook, and academies require an application that can be found on the GHS website under Academies. Please discuss this course selection sheet with your parents and teachers to ensure you choose the right classes. After it is completely filled out, I encourage you to take a picture of it to ensure you have the information you need when you do online registration. Online registration will take place next week in your English class. If you have any questions, be sure to talk to your teachers, school counselor, or Mrs. Riddle. Thank you and have a great day. Students, please remember to press the buttons when using the crosswalks that were recently installed on Madison and School Road in order to cross over safely. Gulf High School's lip sync competition is just around the corner. Applications can be picked up in the CRC and are due back to Ms. Dolan by Friday, March 1st, and auditions will be after school on Wednesday, March 13th. High School Nation is teaming up with Hollister to pick one public high school in the U.S. to win an all-expenses-paid prom this spring. The contest has started and runs until Friday, March 15th. The school that receives the most votes in the time frame will win. The website to start voting is www.hollisterco.com slash prom. There will also be a surprise guest performance during the prom and many other goodies on the night of the event. So log on and vote today. If you're interested in financial aid for college or career school, you're going to need to fill out the free application for federal student aid or FAFSA. It takes most people about 30 minutes to complete online, and the best part, it's 100% free. And it provides you with access to grants, loans, and work-study funds from the federal government. And many colleges and states use FAFSA information to provide their own college or state financial aid. Before you fill out the FAFSA, it's a good idea to create your FSA ID, a username and password that lets you electronically sign your FAFSA and gives you access to various websites related to federal student aid. And here's an important tip. If your parent is providing information on your FAFSA, he or she will need his or her own FSA ID. 
Visit studentaid.gov forward slash FSAID for more information. Your FAFSA can be completed online at FAFSA.gov and help is provided throughout the online application process. You will need to fill out the FAFSA each year you are in school because your financial situation may change. Plus, you may be able to automatically transfer your tax data from the IRS, making the application even quicker to fill out. Each state and college or career school sets its own deadline for the FAFSA, so it's best to get it done early. Since some of the funds are available on a first-come, first-served basis, you don't want to miss out. Now that you know about the FAFSA, you might be asking, well, how much money will I get? Your college or career school will do the math, and there's a simple formula that they use. First, the college takes your cost of attendance, which is the total amount it will cost you to go to that school. Your cost of attendance will vary from school to school. Then, the college subtracts your expected family contribution, or EFC. Your EFC is based on information provided in your FAFSA and will not change based on the school you attend. However, the EFC is not necessarily the amount of money you will have to pay. Basically, your cost of attendance minus your EFC equals your financial need. Your college uses your financial need and other information to determine how much financial aid you can receive. See? Pretty simple. If you have questions or need more information, please visit studentaid.gov. Next week is Say Something Week, where we will be raising awareness against violence, bullying, or threats of suicide by saying something to someone if you hear or see something that may cause harm to others. Each day we are asking you to wear a different colored shirt to represent different ways we can communicate better. Monday is Wear Red Day, and if you see someone wearing a red shirt, ask them to tell you something about their day. Tuesday is Blue Shirt Day, Wednesday is Green Shirt Day, Thursday is Yellow Shirt Day, and Friday is GHS Spirit Day. Help open the lines of communication so we can all watch out for each other. So what has a single eye but cannot see? A needle. For more information, please refer to the scroller. That is all for our news. Have a great National Wildlife Day, Golf High. Just outside of Sydney is the Blue Mountains, which is a favorite when visiting Australia. The Waradara Aboriginal Centre is such a neat place to come to learn all about Aboriginal culture and heritage. At Scenic World, there are so many different ways to explore the Blue Mountains. Cableway, Skyway, Railway, and Walkway. Wow, what a view. So the Aboriginal legend has it that these used to be three sisters and they were turned to stone. Here we go. I feel like I'm walking on air, this glass floor above the Echo Valley. 